What's your immediate uh, reaction from uh, this afternoon's defeat? Better team won. I bear the standards it takes to get in a title race in this division. And that's what we aspire to. Uh, the front two in the end were devastating, especially second half. We were very competitive. Uh, force goals always going to be key in this type of game. Um, we had a great chance just before their force goal where Sam Bid has missed the head at the far post. But um, in the end, you know, uh, their front two were too hot to handle. It was a 0 0 at half time. What do you think was the difference um, in terms of the performances from the first and the second half? And their front two destroyed us. Simple as that. Um, but look, they defended well as well. You've got to give them a lot of credit. You know, they've come here um, and they've done a good job on us. Uh, I thought we played well in the first half. I actually thought we started the second half excellently as well. So it was competitive. There was nothing in the game up to sort of that first goal. Like I said, we had a great chance with Sam Beard at the far post. Uh, he just headed over a glorious chance. We had a couple of good chances in the first half. Oxon made a couple of good saves in the first half, but second half, at the, like I say, the front two was too hard to handle, and that's, that's the good honest truth. But the great learning for us is, and we got to learn quick, um, because that's the standard it takes to, you know, to get in the title race in this division. So I thought they were a very experienced side. I think the youngest player in their team was Shimanga, actually, the centre forward. That's the youngest player in their team. We're young, we're learning. Um, I wouldn't say we're naive, but we're learning. Um, we, but we've got to learn quick. You, you touched on there. We start the second half uh, strongly with, with Sam Biz's chance. How, how do you think that the, the two, uh, their two goals in quick, quick succession might, might have affected us? In fact, you can see goals affects everybody. Their confidence goes up, theirs goes down. You know, it affects everybody. You know, when you can see the goal, everyone's disappointed. Um, and to be fair to them, what they did, you know, they sensed the kill. And they killed us. And that's what good teams do. And they're a very good side. They're the best side we played by an absolute mile in my round. So, uh, yeah, best side by, by a mile I've seen so far. Uh, Efron and Pally back in the team today. What did you make of their performances? Yeah, F's F, threat all the time. Um, like I say, he's got to get his numbers right. He's got to get a couple more goals and create a couple more goals. That's important for him to develop. And Pauli's a class act, to be fair. Uh, did some good things. Just got to keep feeding them. And it's just good to get them back on the pitch. So, uh, yeah, they did okay. Yeah, we kept going. We always will. We've got good lads in the in, in the change room, you know. Uh, we've got good spirit between us. We kept pushing on. And uh, look, you never know when this when it comes to the end of the season. There could be one goal that could be the difference between you know success and failure. So we kept going. Um, we just got to take our medicine today. Like I say, they just are much. They were much better side than us today. How important is it that we can now put put today's result behind us and, and focus on uh, not counting Friday That's now? What we have to do. You know, we have to put that behind us. We can't sulk, we can't moan. Um, I always have a huddle after the game. It's very important that, uh, you know what I mean, when you win, you do the same things when you lose. You know, same debriefs, look at the same things, keep the standards high. Um, great learning for some of our young players. We've got a lot of young players, great learning for them. And uh, like I said to them there, I said the same thing to them in the huddle at the end. You know, that is the standard it takes to get in the title race in this division. So it's big learning for them, and this is mortgage football. It ain't the academy no more. It ain't the category one academies. This is mortgage football, and uh, that's what it takes. Thanks for your time. Cheers.